my computer somehow shut off last night and Scrivener closed. Ah, thankfully, my words, they're still there. Oh, good thing. Hello, welcome, Ush Galden. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Listen, I have an idea. We have a special guest, Lizzie, today. Uh, she does not wish to leave me alone at any point. She has been right beside me all day, sleeping next to me on my bed, following me when I went to go shower. And now I pulled a chair up because I thought it would be funny, but she willingly jumped up and now she is here. So we are going to have a fun day of writing with a cute little dog right next to us. So the goal for today is to write, oh, hi, yeah, hi, yeah. The goal for today is to finish chapter nine and to write chapters 10 and possibly 11. I want to catch up on the chapters because I know I have a very busy month and I want to write as much as possible. I would love to finish the manuscript this month and it's only 27 chapters. So if I stick to a chapter a day for the rest of the month, I could definitely maybe finish it on time. Uh, but I want to get ahead today. So chapters 9, 10, and 11 are in my grasp. We are going to be working so hard to do that. To do so, my drink of the day, which Lizzie, oh, you're not interested in, but it's chocolate, Lizzie. You beg so much for chocolate. Anyways, we have my squeeze the day mug. I got this as a Christmas gift a couple years ago from my friend and I absolutely love it because today we're squeezing the day. We are squeezing those word counts out. We are going to get as much done as possible. This is an orange coffee with a Rocky Road syrup in it. It's delicious. Okay, bye. Are you leaving? All right, I'm going to see if I can get Lizzie a little bit more comfortable. Maybe bring her pillow or something closer to my desk. The winds are really strong today, and Lizzie doesn't like winds, so that is why she is quite clingy. Nothing health-related. She's perfectly healthy and happy. Right, Liz? You're happy and healthy. So we're going to get her comfortable, we're going to get to writing, and we're going to see where those words take us. First update of the day, we just cracked the thousand word mark. Also hit 26,000 words. We're doing fantastic. Chapter 9 is done now. We are moving on to chapter 10, which is where we get to introduce the famed blue raspberry slushy. I'm so excited to write that in. We lay the groundwork in chapter 9 for it. Oh, it's going to be so sweet, both literally and figuratively, when we get to that seed in chapter 10. Earlier on, I was checking my calendar just to make sure that I had everything set for the rest of the week, and I forgot that I am going to go see the new Black Panther movie tonight with my brother for, like, not the midnight premiere. We're going to the 6.30 show, so it'll be a little bit earlier. That means I got to get my writing done quite quickly. So after lunch, we're going to continue with chapter 10 and see just how much we can get cram-packed into at least a couple hours worth of work. Emily's making some pasta sauce with the tomatoes from the garden. Looks delicious, Emily. She wanted me to show her other pasta. So what is this one? Pasta. <laughs> pasta, <laughs> lovely. She got some tomatoes in there. I think those are, are those Ikea veggie balls? No. Are they regular meatballs? No. <laughs> what are they? They're Brussels sprouts. <laughs> oh, goodness. So it's a veggie pasta. Yeah, there's carrots, there's Brussels sprouts, there's tomatoes. And the sauce Spinach. is... Nice. The sauce is one that you made the other night, right? It is, yeah. Oh, this is kind of ugly. One second. <laughs> okay. There we, there we go. It looks beautiful now. It's like a, a squash. A squash soup. Yes. What is it? The buttercup squash? Yeah, it's a kabocha squash. Nice. We had the pasta the other day. Not this one, but just with the sauce. And it was delicious. This is the famed TikTok feta pasta recipe that we have adapted over many, many, many methods. What is that? Cream cheese in the middle? Yes. Chive and onion. Chive and onion. Lovely. I normally put the the Borson uh, vegan dairy free one in there, but cream cheese works just as well. Cream was also on sale at the grocery store the other day, so we picked it up. It was 99 cents for the container, so that will go into the recipe later. <laughs> Puppy. Hi, Liz. See, the wind out here isn't too bad. You're just a little bit scary. Yeah, it is bad. Oh, it's okay. You're with your hides. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's my garden. Get out of my garden, miss. There's a grass up. You see him? It's right there. Some beautiful colors in the garden today. Some oranges. Oh, this one. Uh, I never planted that in this pot, but I guess it's growing. I've decided that since today is so beautiful out, it's like 17 degrees, I'm gonna put up the Christmas lights. We won't be turning them on yet, but it's supposed to be really cold next week, so we may as well get them up while the day is so beautiful. Plus, I'm gonna have help to be able to put them up, so. They're all up here. 
these are the Christmas lights. I still got some more candy canes, but we're gonna start by putting up these ones. They're from Canadian Tire. Beautiful. I know I am, but what are you? We have all the candy canes. Might as well put them in the ground now because the little stakes are gonna freeze in the ground. And if it gets too cold, they're not gonna go in so nicely. I broke one of the stakes, so this guy should have another three on this side, but I have to go get more so I can connect them. But the rest look quite good. Got quite a few going on up here. They don't look bad at all. Up there, got the along the peak. Very windy. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a cute squirrel. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Look at him. That little squirrel. Oh no, 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 don't run away. I am back doing my writing, but I figured before I would start writing, I would see when I put up the lights last year, and it turns out exactly one year ago is when I put up the lights. So just like clockwork, the lights go back up and Christmas is in full swing. Even though I'm not in the mood for it yet, things gotta get done early. My sister managed to get hold of my document and then left that there for me. Oh goodness. All right, chapter nine is done. So let us come back out here and start on chapter 10. Definitely harder to write one-handed as you're trying to watch the screen at the same time. Okay, there we go. Chapter 10. Let's get started. It's been a busy afternoon, so now is my last chance to get the words in before I have to leave for the movie. I'm hoping to get at least like two or three hundred words in like the next 10 minutes or so just to kind of boost us up. It'd be fantastic if we can get a little bit more than that, but we will see how far we can get. Let's stop talking. Let's start writing. Not too bad on timing. We finished up our word count with 1650 altogether. Let's see if I can bring that down. Our chapter in just under 15 minutes is 604 words. Oh gosh. Somebody was joking a while ago in one of my videos that my word count was at like 1500 words an hour. <laughs> well, this session, oh my goodness, definitely beat that, I think. Okay. There we go. Not like in terms of all those words that I wrote just now, but that 604 words, incredible. That line is steady going up. Uh, and I think that'll be my only update for today. We'll see. Maybe later I'll write a little bit more just to push us over. Uh, I don't know. We'll see though. That was an incredible writing sprint. I did not think I had those words in me. I guess they were just flowing out of my fingertips today. The writing though was very rough. I did not put a lot of punctuation. I do need to go back in and add a lot more. That'll come with the editing phase. For now, it was just getting my ideas from here onto the screen and it worked. I have to go pick up my brother in a couple minutes to go take him to the movie. So I gotta go, but I will update you when I am back. Goodbye. Like resave the video. We're at the movies. You ready? Yeah. Wakanda forever. They're not blue today. <laughs> Spots. What are you getting? Santa. Uh... We're in Cinema Nine. The best one. Yeah, it was pretty good. What do you think, Mitchell? It was good. This first one was better though. Yeah. No second credit after scene though, only one. So if you're watching it, don't stick around for the second one because there's nothing. So Mitchell, what'd you think? It was good. It wasn't bad. I love the soundtrack, but I also love the soundtrack from the first one. I think Ops is the best song on that one. And I think without spoilers, there's an scene with a really good song. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's all Mitchell's gonna say too, because now he's in the dark. 
<laughs> Perfect. All right. Now it's time to go home and go finish writing. They have cooled down, but they just need to be blended together. Final word update of the day. It is 11.52 p.m. And we have added a couple more words to the daily count. I added 202 words to be exact. That pushes our chapter 10 to 806 words altogether. I can't be bothered to do the other style recording, so we're just going to go like this for today. 202 words this session. And done. Overall, the writing went really well today. I'm very happy with the product that I ended up with, finishing up chapter nine and getting a really good amount of chapter 10 done. Yes, it is not the entire chapter 10, but I am happy with the progress so far. The only thing though that I will mention is as I was writing so quickly earlier and so quickly tonight to get those words in, I ended up going back and fixing all of my spelling mistakes and there were 42 of them. 42 spelling mistakes that I made. You know what? Luckily it was easy to fix and that's okay. But 42 in that time span. Granted, those two writing sprints that gave me the majority of the words were like, what, 15 minutes for the first one? And I think I spent maybe another 20 doing the second one, which is only 202 words, but I was kind of connecting things together. So not bad. Not bad at all. That is it for me today. The plan for tomorrow is I'm going to be going to a garden center for my yearly activity with my mother. I will bring you guys all along for that. So look forward to that video. All right. Enjoy your writing. I will see you on Saturday. Bye. Hi, people. I don't like this NaNoWriMo because my Heidi does not spend time with me. She sits at her computer and types all day and I try to get her attention by snoring really loudly and it doesn't work until she scares me and wakes me up. Oh, is there a dog, another dog barking? Okay. Ah.